What's going on guys, it's Aaron Player here and today I've got a brand new trailer to break down for you guys and if you don't know this isn't just me simply re-uploading the trailer, I'm going to be breaking it down, talking over it and pausing it. So if you want to see the original normal trailer and you want to listen to what the guy is talking about then you can watch the original video, I'll put a link in the description to where you can watch that and uh, if you enjoyed this video then feel free to give it a thumbs up or like rating because videos like these do take quite a long time to make and find everything and do the research and editing. So uh, first up we can see a group of these characters which kind of shows off how you can customize your characters with their mask and other equipment and things like that and uh, this guy appears to be running the kill streaks that look like an IMS, a heli sniper which is that helicopter that you can shoot out of with a sniper rifle and it kind of hovers around the map we saw that in some earlier trailers and then his top kill streak looks to be some sort of drone but I really can't guess what it might be but uh, it, there's a chance that it possibly could be this absolutely amazing kill streak that we'll get onto in a second and I'll show you but uh, we just don't know it just just looks like a normal kind of reaper drone and we can't exactly guess this looks like some kind of hybrid scope and uh, it says at the top you can press the stick to toggle the scope and later on in this trailer i'll show you what it looks like when you actually toggle it and it's similar to the target finder or a uh, millimeter scanner from black ops 2 and then, then here we have the first time in ghost we can confirm that the tactile knife attachment is in the game this guy is running what looks like a very weird pistol with the tac knife on it and, uh, and then this guy is also running an assault rifle or lmg and it looks like to have some sort of different hybrid scope on it in addition to one we saw earlier which you can switch between the red dot reflex or uh, the thermal sight so you can have those two sights on one gun which is pretty cool and his kill streaks are the ballistic vest the care package and the night owl uh, this menu you can see the three modes which is the single player which would be the main menu the multiplayer and the squads mode the squads is all about what this trailer is and uh, and then we have something absolutely crazy which uh, is possibly the top kill shoot that we saw earlier and this is basically a giant drone that you go up to and it can shoot a numerous amount of things a care package a juggernaut suit and a large rod which we know is the huge kind of explosions and uh, that says it's recharging and we can't actually see the other one which it says but uh, if we rewind to a little bit where you can see through the static it says small rods so here we can see all four options we've got the large rods small rods which are basically kind of rockets or bombs and then we have a juggernaut suit or care package and you can actually choose to drop these for your team so you can either choose to support your team or you can just rain destruction so this looks like a really really powerful kill streak and I can't wait to see more of it and, uh, and then we have the different kind of game modes within squads you can pause the video on each uh, one to read their descriptions and this guy looks to be running an IMS uh, vulture drone and uh, his last kill sheet looks to be kind of a satellite which is like an advanced UAV orbital VSAT or blackbird equivalent and uh, this is on a map that we haven't seen before and then here we can see the assault juggernaut this is the guy that comes with a minigun I believe there are three types of juggernauts we've seen so far this is the assault one in the assault package that comes with a mini gun and I believe a pistol too then there's the juggernaut maniac which we've seen before who comes with only a knife and he runs very fast and then I believe there's also a support juggernaut with a riot shield similar to the one we saw in Modern Warfare 3 and uh, these explosions coming down they look to be what the large or small rods because they look exactly like the ones we saw in the single player because to know that the Odin satellite can fire these rods and they look very very similar so I don't know whether this is the small rods or the large rods but uh, it's definitely one of them and, uh, and then we can see a guy running the specialist and he earned his quick draw perk at his third point streak so maybe you now need three points to earn your first perk within the specialist package which is different of course to Modern Warfare 3 when you needed two four and six and then eight will get you all the perks this it appears that he's earned his first perk at three which is a step higher uh, or he could be running hardline which means that you need to get four points to be able to earn your first perk and uh, but that's interesting to note and then we see a guy getting knifed and then we see the sentry gun and and, uh, and then we see how the thermal site looks in action on an assault rifle and another map we haven't seen before even more knifing and uh, just at the end there we get a look at a snipe we haven't seen much before and then on this scope right here there's some sort of LED kind of marker or kind of counter which I can't really figure out what it actually represents uh, I've seen it in numerous trailers like before months ago in the trailers we saw revealing multiplayer I know it's not ammo obviously because it goes down and up as he shoots the guy and I've been trying to figure out for a while so I really do not know what this represents but uh, leave a comment let me know what you think it might be maybe you guys can 
can guess something. But I say I just cannot figure out what this might be. And, uh, and then this is the heli sniper kill streak that we saw. And uh, this is basically the sniper you can shoot. And you're inside a little helicopter that kind of patrols around the map. And uh, then even more knifing. Again, they really love to show off this new knife and animation. And this guy just earned another perk at his three points, which kind of suggests that it might be the first uh, time that you get your first perk. And uh, three points is now how much you need to get your first perk within specialist. And uh, but he could be running hardline again. We don't know. We'll have to find out later. And then we get a look at the USR sniper rifle. This is a bolt action sniper, which is very very interesting because it says it reduces kick with every kill. So each kill you get is going to have less recoil and it's going to be more accurate. That's very very interesting how it progresses like that. And his loadout, just looking at all the things he's got, is uh, he's got the USR sniper rifle with FMJ. Uh, Vera will zoom. Not sure what the third attachment is. Possibly heavy barrel, which would reduce the recoil. Then he's got an M9 pistol with the tactical knife and extended mags. Then he's got C4 with motion sensor. His perks are quick draw and uh, what well, looks to be like an extra scopes or maybe more scopes or attachments to your sniper. And then he's running the support strike package. Within that, he has the SATCOM, which is basically the UAV, the night out, and some 14 point streak, which looks like something turning invisible. Maybe you're hidden from radar. Uh, hopefully, it's not very powerful. It does look like it might be because it's 14 points, which is quite a lot. But seeing as this is in the support package, hopefully, it isn't really powerful and uh, irritating because, as you know, with support package, you don't uh, reset your points when you die. So you can basically get a guaranteed uh, point streak when you use this and uh, then this guy is using the VEPA SMG and this is basically going to be the P90 or PDW equivalent on the uh, submachine gun category and this is a very large clip of probably 50 and uh, he has a red dot sight with rapid fire an MP443 pistol with FMJ an IED explosive which is similar to the C4 and a 9 bang grenade which we've probably seen before in the videos and, uh, and then the perk that looks like lightweight faster switching between guns dead silence and uh, sit rep and then he hasn't selected any kill streak for some reason, I don't know why. And, uh, and then we can see the hybrid scope, which I talked about earlier. And he uh, switches to that. It's very cool where you can actually flip this up and you can choose between iron sights or this actual hybrid scope. And it looks similar to a target finder or millimeter scanner kind of combined in this scope. And, uh, and then he earns the Griffin kill streak. And uh, that is all I can find in this trailer. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please leave a like rating on this video. If you want to see more videos like this, then you can subscribe to my channel and I have exclusive ghost gameplay on my channel if you want to check that out too it'll be the outro of this video when the music starts playing so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later Jump.